to my channel my concha crew it is your girl diane Puro don't want to those vlogs welcome back as always let's welcome all the new subscribers to the concha crew welcome bienvenidos if you have not yet subscribed go ahead right now do me a favor do yourself the favor i promise you promise you you will be empowered you will have nothing but positivity go ahead right now go to the right hit that bell so you're notified every time that i post and every time that i go live i am here with my beautiful girlfriend ariel and due to the seating arrangement she's right here to the side i would love to you know have her but we we are here and we're here again together forever but we want to welcome all those new subscribers you guys thank you for the support and the love you guys are amazing and also let's go ahead and shout out this video is sponsored by our wonderful friend susan lee we thank you so much susan lee for sponsoring and blessing my channel with this sponsorship of this delicious hawaiian cuisine and I wish I could be where you are, which is in Hawaii. Oh my goodness. Of being in Hawaii yes, right now. we are Hawaii, Hawaiian dreaming. But to those that don't know what really Hawaiian cuisine is, let me let you guys know. Hawaiian cuisine is known as a multicultural. So it's Hawaiian, American food, Korean food, and Japanese all in one. And that's where mine and Ariel's heart is, is in Hawaii. Absolutely. <laughs> Recently, all, all those good food. Yes, we've been so addicted to Hawaiian and Korean food. Of course, you know, we love Japanese food, but whew, thank you again, my friend. So let's go over yes, a little bit of you. what we ordered here because this is a feast. And make sure you guys right now, please like this video right now. Yes, like this video. Go ahead and comment as well. We love to read your guys' comments. Please, for Susan Lee, let's go ahead and put blue, ha blue hearts for the ocean, the Lots color of, of the hearts ocean. And waves. Blue hearts right now. Let's all put those blue hearts in the comments for Susan Lee. So we're gonna go over this feast of what we got here. I'm gonna let Ariel go over what she got here. Let me see. All right, y'all. So go ahead. You see this delicious plate of food here? So what I got is called the barbecue mix. And what that is, is I love all types of meats. Um, it does come with barbecue uh, chicken, steak, and kalibi. How do you say it? Kalibi? So? Kalibi? Yes, ribs. <laughs> kalibi ribs. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still learning how to pronounce it. So forgive me. And Hawaiian again. mac. Yep. And we cannot forget the mac. Oh my gosh. Yes. It's a whole nother level. So that's what Oreo. Oh. Oreo. <laughs> Ariel, I'm over here I'm calling an Oreo. <laughs> my oh, mom man. and Mama Dove, Mama Appetite, they tend to they call her, to her right Oreo. They got my boo saying it too. <laughs> and let's see what I got here. I'm I'm so excited. So here is the this is a combo and I got the Hawaiian. This is the Hawaiian barbecue. Let me get it closer. The Hawaiian barbecue, and this is the katsu chicken, except it's dipped in this sauce. This is their special pineapple chicken. So when you come here, you want to ask for the pineapple chicken. It comes with this best, my mouth is watering, oh my goodness, this special pineapple sauce. And of course, with the Hawaiian mac, and then a side of white rice. And we couldn't find the squid, Susan. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Ariel said, thank the Lord. But we did find, and I hope I pronounced this right, it's Lao Lao. Look at this right here, Lao Lao. This is Lao Lao, and obviously it's a banana leaf wrapped, I believe. I don't know what it is, so please do not hold stay me to it. But go ahead, y'all. You gotta stay tuned. <laughs> this is gonna be a surprise, because this is the first time that I am trying this. Okay, we'll have to do the squid another time. Mabu's really happy because she I'm said... I'm going to wait for Susan to come over here. <laughs> she said she's going to wait for you to come. It has to be the best of the best with most authentic before I eat it. <laughs> and we also cannot forget the mas uh, masubi. Mm -hmm. So this is the spam masubi right here. Look at that. Oh, this is a spam masubi. I'm ready to take a take bite. Take a bite. I give it back. Okay, so you get one. I'll get one. And I have one. And we're also going to, we had to, I had to order me a side of the mac. I'm sorry, I love the Hawaiian mac mm -hmm. salad. So this is a side. You, this is bomb, but it's not enough. I'm it's sorry. not enough. We need more than that. 
<laughs> yep, so this is a side right here. This comes with two scoops of mac, Hawaiian mac. Mm. Macaroni salad, yes. And we also ordered in this feast, um, this is a manu pau. Please forgive me. Please forgive me to all the Hawaiians if I don't pronounce it right. Don't let me see. I was going to say, let me see that. Mana pau, right? Where? Mana pau. Hold on. <laughs> we're, trying to, we're trying to do our best here. Mana pau. Mana pau. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> so we ordered really two of them. Here. It's basically, it's a steamed bun. And inside it has the Hawaiian um, beef, shredded beef inside. Look at those right there. I'm to try those. I didn't know what to expect. But I am red tea. And what I love about this, I don't know if you can tell, but it does come up wrapped. Uh huh. Um, so you do have to unwrap it. So to me, that just says fresh. That this says fresh. Here, baby, grab it's you one. Red tea, okay. I'll, I'll just oh, she grab grabbed the one that's wrapped. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, you can kind of see it's a little toasted there. We're going to let you guys see everything. So, first, let's go ahead if you guys can join us for our prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for the blessing of this meal. May you bless those as well and bless the hands that made this dear lord please bless someone else in need with the warm meal and also bless susan lee for blessing us dear lord abundantly and thank you again for the for the blessing of this meal in jesus name we pray amen amen amen, amen. amen to that. let me make sure my mic's on because i could be talking do 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 and it's not even you know what the, yeah the mic needs to be on just for me because i really talk well i'm excited okay so i'm gonna go ahead and try Let's try things together, okay? Even though you guys can't see Ariel. So we're gonna try our food. You guys obviously can't see that part, but here you go, baby. This is the napkin. Napkin. And then the over utensils. here, <laughs> the utensils and the napkin. I'm excited to try this, this pineapple chicken. So this sauce right here, it's it's house made. I like, I like I said, all I heard was pineapple and I'm like, I love pineapples, I'm there. She's like, did you say pineapple? Cause yes. I'm like, say what? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys the, the first, first bite. Because you guys have been saying I don't do that. Because for me, the first bite is, is heaven. There you go. Take a bite. Give it back. Let's go. Mm. So mm. it's a little orangey. Baby, it it's like pineapple. Orangey or just I taste, taste like habanero. Like a sweet habanero? Yes, here, try it. I'm going to have Ariel try it. And there's chunks of pineapple in here. Pineapple and habanero. Tell me that's not it. It's pineapple and habanero, you guys. Mm. The spice level, mm -hmm. one to ten. This is gonna be like a, I could say like a five. Yeah. Mm. There's really no spice to it. Ooh, that's really mm. good. It does have that pineapple kick, but you're right. There's like um, a habanero taste to it. I I'm gonna try it with the beef. This is the Hawaiian beef. Mm. Let me see. Let's try it with the beef right there. There's chunks of pineapple in here. Literally. Let me tell y'all. If y'all ever, and this is why I'm lucky here. If you never, like if you have a hard time trying to pick out mm -hmm. a gift for Diane, you can never go wrong with anything pineapple. Rather, it's something you can eat, a toy, <laughs> a frame, a napkin, <laughs> anything. Pineapple. She will love it. Yep. As long as it's got a pineapple on it, she's good. See, we're going to make Susan Lee her taco. This is a Hawaiian okay. taco, and this is for Susan Lee. We're going to go ahead and drizzle here. Drizzle, drizzle. Some of that pineapple yeah. sauce. All right. We're going to add some rice in there. Here you go. There's a ta taco, my friend. Eat it up, girl. Uh-huh. Let's get it. It's waiting. Ooh, this is going to be a big bite. I feel this is going to be messy. Let me get this napkin. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. Spam masubi. Mm. The cabbage, the steamed cabbage, are delicious. I know nothing compares to actual Hawaiian food. Oh, now I'm going to try. And, you know, the only thing that me and Ariel said that we dislike is that these are all in containers. I mean, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's what's inside. It's good when you're ready to go because it's just packed up and that's it. But, you know, 
I like my plates. Here you guys, get the first bite. Go ahead. Okay, give it back. Take a bite, give it back. Mmm. Mmm. This masubi is good. The masubi is good? Mm-hmm. Oh. 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 So I don't know if y'all can see. Mm. So there's a layer of ham. Nice, thick layer. And I think, is this, um, what kind of sauce is that? Is that like a sauce? Teriyaki. Teriyaki, okay. Teriyaki in the rice and then wrapped in seaweed. Which, I'm not really a seaweed person, but this whole combination here, bomb. This I can eat as a snack. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, let me tell you, they're so nice here. You can tell it is a husband and a wife here. This is the only spot they don't have tons of others. Um, I think maybe they have one though. Wait, no, no, wait let's look at they the have menu. Two locations. They have two locations. We happen to be the one on Mesa, which is 1720 West Southern Avenue Suite C3. I'm gonna put, don't worry, I'm gonna put this in the description box below, but they have another one, so there's two um, in Chandler. So if you're either Mesa or Chandler, if you're not even by them and you're in Avondale, West Phoenix, it is worth it. It oh, is yeah, worth it. Absolutely. Um, especially like the vibe in here. I'm always, like, I came in tired because, you know, we both had work mm -hmm. today and I'm just like, I don't need loud. <laughs> I need right. mellow. So when we came in, you could just hear like the tune is just it's home like, like, you know, it's a vibe. They have such relaxing music in the yeah. back. It's like if I'm just literally eating in the ocean. Mm. Mm. It's so, so, and they make everything per order. So again, if you want something quick, you better hit up that Jack in the Box on the corner. Don't come here. Yep. I appreciate the ones that do take some time for my food. Ooh, this is what I want to try. My boo tried it, now I'm going to try it. Here we go. Let me yep, turn it I'm upside down. down too. Here we go. You're, she's almost done. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. 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 The spam. I love me some spam. Mm -mm -mm. I love me some spam. Mm. Mm. I'm in heaven, you guys. This is so good. I would love to learn how to make these because this it seems like it'd be simple. Mm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So baby, you like to eat spam? Like, you can just eat it? How do you normally eat it? I can eat spam straight out of the can. Mm. But I do like it uh, fried. Uh -huh. I make it for my boys. Mm. And um, I usually like, well, depending on how they want to eat it, I'll either chop it up into little squares mm -hmm. or leave it like sliced like this. Mm -hmm. And they'll have like a sandwich. But I didn't really eat it because it's salty, mm. you know? So having it like this in the masubi, having that little bit of sweet teriyaki uh, sauce with mm -hmm. the rice, mm, it's a good balance. And this, like I said, I can eat it all day. She's right. The spam does, you know, the original spam is very salty. When I make it with eggs, I don't add no salt. But spam, you have to love spam. It's good. I can eat it out the can, fried. Mm. It's so delicious here. On the way up here, we were trying to win tickets to Janet Jackson. Mm. I am a big fan since I was little, a little girl of Janet. I've been to three of her concerts. And me and Ariel were over here calling the radio station. Mm -hmm. She's going to be here literally a few days after my 40th birthday. I know, 40, right? Like, a, like a, almost a week. Mm -hmm. okay. Like a week after. So I'm like, oh, if I could win tickets, that would be amazing. Because yeah. I have to see Janet. She puts on a show. Because a lot of these concerts lately, mm -mm. Janet is what, 50, like 60? Mm -hmm. And she still be doing her thing up in there. Like, she don't. Like, she in her 20s. Yep, I can Not barely. <laughs> Dipping her hip than I do. <laughs> I mean, she had her, she had her, because she has uh, one child. Mm -hmm. 
And she had her son, what, in her 50s. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Gives me some hope. Okay. And don't start commenting that me and my tiff need to have a baby. No. Hint, no, we no. <laughs> a real little tiff is running around. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Can you picture a little tiff running around? With a little ice cream and lollipop? Uh-huh. I want to try the lao lao. Mm, you got to try this. What is this, baby? It's the ribs. The ribs? Okay, so I'm going to try So someone the in rib. the comments can help me pronounce it right, in case I'm not. Is mm. it Kalibi? Kalibi or Kalibi? Kalibi. Kalibi? Mm. Girl, that thing ripped off. Mm. Show them. We're going to give it up close of the ribs. Mm -mm -mm. Take a bite, but give it back. Look at that. Oh, yes. <laughs> Girl, you can have that one. Thank you, baby. <laughs> we call these ribs, we do make these ribs, we call them costellitas. But let me tell you, what you do is you basically mm, bite it off. Just like that. To me, Hawaiian food is finger food. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't need a utensil, nothing, just grab it and eat. Some people tend to say, oh, if you don't eat it with a, a spoon or a fork, it's disrespectful. Where? Because the cave women and the cavemen, they have no spoons and forks. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. I will say. I'm going to eat this mm -hmm. with this spoon. <laughs> Baby, I already done finished mine. Mm -hmm. You already know me and Earl how to get these, the mm -hmm. two. Because this is so bomb. I make, I actually have a recipe. I made this. Mm -hmm. I did cook. I did do cooking videos, you guys. And recently, my um, crock pot pozole video, it's already at 27K. Oh, wow. Yeah. Everybody's ready. Ready to eat. It's the season. Food. But if you guys look at my cooking videos that I, that I did about two years ago, I have the Hawaiian, mm -hmm. Hawaiian um, mac salad recipe. I have the crock pots. You name it. It is so good. Yes. I love bomb. it. Bomb. Creamy. This is creamy. Mm, it has carrots. You can taste a little hint of that apple cider vinegar. And it seems like it's easy to make like very few ingredients mm -hmm. compared to like the typical American um, mm. mac salad. Mm, this is so good. Okay, let's go on. We got this feast here. What are we going to try next, babe? Mm. Let's try the, the um, one that um, Susan wanted us to try. I hope I win tickets to Janet Jackson. This is... We couldn't get the squid, but this is Lao Lao Lao. Please do not come for me and Ariel. We are trying our best. It is our first time trying new stuff. That's why we didn't want to go to like the, you know, drive through Hawaiian places, Uno's and mm -hmm. nothing like that. We wanted authentic Hawaiian food. And I looked up on Yelp and this right here was, was the most that I could find. Right. So here you go. We're gonna let you guys get the first bite. It almost looks like a tamale that's like wrapped up yes. in like a Grab banana, it, banana leaf. Is that Ooh. what that is? It's a banana leaf, but I don't know what's inside of it. We're gonna find out, Miss. We're gonna find out. Okay, let's move this to the side. Okay. Mm. I'm done, baby. Open it. Well, give me like a dish I can open it on. A what? A dish, like something I can open it on. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a cut, cut for you. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. <laughs> She's saying that because when I edit, I have to go cut, cut, cut. Okay. Can I see? Yeah. There we go. Okay. So let's yeah. There we go. Up close. Baby. We're going to unwrap it. Here's your guys' Christmas present. Yeah. Opening it Ooh. just for y'all. Let's see. Let's oh, see what go. it says, it's what really it is, oily. baby. Is it, this is, we're going to look at what this is so we know exactly what it is we're about to oh. get into. Oh, I don't know what this is. Does it say? I don't know, but voila. <laughs> what is this, baby? What is that? Is it like rats and more leaves? Yeah, or no, I think you eat that. Okay, Open well, we're going to do it. Open the mouth. Open it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to do it. Oh shit. You want to try it, baby? I'm going to lay here in front of the okay. camera. Okay. 
Here we go. I'm going to try it. Here we go. I, I assume that's what you do. There's no instructions, so please don't <laughs> laugh at me if, if we're we going to go over wrong. here. If we do it wrong. Here we go. Is that chicken? It looks like chicken. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, baby, it's good. Look at it. Is that mm. a chicken, baby? It kind of looks like it. Or is that like a turkey? I don't know. Mm. Mm-mm. That's bomb. Mm. All right, guys. Let's see. Try it, baby. It's so good. Mm. It looks like it might be like a boiled chicken with, is that potato? I don't know. Right. That is so good. Mm, the carne is so, like you can tell, it is so soft and it's steamed. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I don't know, but that that's delicious. Mm. Is that a spam bay? I think it this is right spam. Here. That, that tastes like spam. Or is it turkey? Girl, it's something. It's Whatever it is, we could be eating, I don't know, horse. Girl, it's delicious. It better not be. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. That is bomb right bomb there. <laughs> that is our first time trying mm. that. It does have a little like a salty taste to it. It's, it's not good. overbearing. I will say the that. meat is so soft. The minute it like the minute I bit it, it just melts. Mm. Melts. Mm -hmm. But I want to say this turkey. It's turkey spam. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh my, it's so good. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna get another bite here, y'all. Take a bite. And give it back. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know. Mm. And I really don't care so good. So is it a? I I think it might be like a beef and pork. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh what? Could it be like a beef and pork? I don't a know. Lao Lao, right? Probably. <laughs> Let me show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys this. How? Look at. Look at how. Oh. How? How? I can not say how. <laughs> How's it how? How? Good. That's good. Mm. You definitely need to try that. That's something you need to try. Okay, we have another one we're going to try. Mm, and this is their steamed bun. But <laughs> their steam bun. You ready, baby? Mm, I'm in heaven. This is so good. I'm sorry. I'm so obsessed. Mm. Sorry, I have to do my little research of what is Lao Lao. <laughs> Ariel was over here doing the research. I'm like, I really want to know. What I say? Um... It says that it is a dish consisting of cooked taro leaves containing fillings such as pork, fish, or coconut cream. So, combination or... So, we ate all that right now? Girl. It was good. Mm -hmm. I didn't even, I couldn't even tell. It was so delicious. It's so juicy. It's like, it's a, it, rem it reminded me of a tamale in a way, like a tamale. Mm -hmm. Cause it's wrapped, it's steamed. The minute you open up that gift, it's like BAM. Okay, baby, let's try this one. This is their steamed one. Man, what did we say? It's mana, mom, mana pau, or mana pau. Mm -hmm. Shout out to everyone in Hawaii. You guys are living like right here. Look how big these are. Okay. Oh, yes. Let's go ahead and let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Cheers. Cheers. We're going in for a big bite here. Mm. All right, so we're going to try this. Oh. Mmm. Look at what's inside. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I have never had this. I'm so excited to try this. But inside, it's like, I don't know. It just looks like like Hawaii to me. <laughs> Ready, baby? Oh, so I'm going to cut Ooh, this. Oh, Ariel's cutting hers open. This is all Christmas gifts here. Oh, look at that. So you guys can see it a little bit better. It's mine. Hey, <laughs> that's mine over here. Okay, ready, baby? Cheers. We're going to cheers. Put one down. Cheers. Here cheers. we go. Mmm. Mmm. It's a little sweet. Mmm. Oh, that tastes really good. 
Mmm. I feel like this is like a sweet treat. Like mm -hmm. you finish your food, you deserve a treat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. A sweet, like Ariel said. Mmm. The actual roll is sweet. Inside, the carne, the, the meat, which I believe that's beef, right? Is it beef, baby? You guys, do not come. We want, we're trying to do our best here. Um, it doesn't state if it is or not. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It's so good. But I say it's probably beef. It's a Hawaiian. So it's a, <clears throat> sorry, cut, cut. Again. Yes. So manapao mm -hmm. is an evolution of the Chinese steamed char siu bao. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a popular dim sum dish. The Chinese introduced char siu bao mm -hmm. to Hawaii during the plantation era in the 1800s. And then the buns became bigger and the char siu filling sweeter. It's so good. I already know I'm saying this wrong, but let me tell you. Talking it's, about. It's worth trying to pronounce it because it's bomb. <laughs> talking about dumplings. And there's a place here I want to try. I'm not going to say the name. But I want to try this place. There's dumplings. Me and Ariel actually found these delicious. It's a six pack of dump, dumplings at Walmart. And they're the pork ones. They have chicken, but the pork ones. Oh my goodness, we are going to go back and buy like 10 boxes. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Mm. I love the sweetness of the bread. That sauce mm. that's in there, it kind of gives me like a hint of like a cinnamon or like a brown sugar mm -hmm. sweetness. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. One out of 10, this is whiny. I gotta get one of these every time. The sweetness is like, what do you want to eat for a treat? I'm, a, I'm like, I want this. Mm. Masubi, mas, no, this mana, is pao. <laughs> I already forgot. She want mana, mana pao. This is mm -hmm. better than the Hawaiian little sweet rolls that we buy, you know, at the store. Oh, yeah. This right here is so delicious. You can tell this is freshly made. I mean, they mm -hmm. legit made this dough. Mm hmm. Mm. With the pork chunk in it. Oh, that's so good. This is definitely dessert. Mm -hmm. I am so living. So living. You have to try Hawaiian food. If you have not, you are not living. Hawaiian food is so delicious. I love the fact that it's like I feel like I'm getting a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Like I'm getting some type of Korean taste to it. I'm getting that Japanese taste. The Hawaiian, the American, like... Yes, um, I do remember Susan mentioning that. When you go there, you get a little bit of everything, you know? Mm -hmm. That they're really big on the seafood. Take me to Hawaii and Girl, don't bring us back. I'm going to need to make... She needs to make sure she has a room for us. Mm -hmm. I want my blankets. Yep. <laughs> we want all our snacks. I want the sound of the ocean running in the background. The real ocean, not Alexa. <laughs> we want masaldas, which mm -hmm. is delicious. Those masaldas are so delicious. They're they're like a, a Hawaiian... Well, I know that they come from Portuguese, but they're on like a Hawaiian donut, and they're stuffed inside. We actually tried them, you know, because they don't really make those out here, but we found a place here that makes them. And it was, it's called Hapa Foods, and they have, as well, as well I vlogged them, Hawaiian food. Mm. Mm, I'm sorry, Prince. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Prince, Janet Jackson, Selena, Ariel. Mm -hmm. Huge fan. Say it again. I'm a real big fan. <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> you know what I love? I feel like I'm on a buffet. The 80s babies uh -huh. are all about the 90s. And guess who's a 90s baby? Me. <laughs> and guess who's an 80s baby? Me. Yeah. I had the best in the 80s. I had Rainbow Bright. I had the best cartoons. Um, the, uh, um, the Care Bears. Um, who else did I have? He-Man and She-Ra. I had... Um, who else? I don't know. I don't know who else, baby, but I'm going to just say right now, the 90s are all that 
<laughs> Hashtag we had it all. We had, had a mixture okay. of the 80s. We had a mixture of the 90s. We had a mixture of the 2000s. We just had it all. Let me tell what you. What was the best, you guys? The best era? 90s. Hashtag 80s or hashtag 90s? 90s. 90s. And I don't want to hear all the 80s mm -mm. babies coming through. I have through. Madonna. I want to hear the 90s. Paula Abdul. Let's be real. New Kids on the Block. Let's be real, baby. Um, you were born in the 80s. Who you else? You grew up in the 90s. And the 90s is when you started to comprehend things. You That's know what true. I'm That's, she got a point there. Because so I was born saying? in the 80s, but I actually the grew up oh in the God. 90s. Like, because, you know, the whole rest of 83, <laughs> 80, 45, 86, 87, yeah. I was still a little, little, little one. So that is kind of right. I'll probably sound real childish when I say mm -hmm. this, but we had the Jetsons, which is older than the 90s, I believe. Mm -hmm. We had, you know, the Boomerang cartoons. Okay. Okay. We had Powerpuff Girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had it all. Let me just, I'm just saying. Okay. Well, we I'm going to say this. We had music too. We had the Reading Rainbow. But don't take my word for it. <laughs> That was like so Talking like, about reading, did you guys ever, I used to lie and say that I read the book that my teacher gave me so I can get a free little ticket. Oh, the little Pizza Hut? To go to Pizza Hut. Yep. She'd be like, did you read the book? Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. And I used to read the front, the middle, and the back. And I'd be like, yep, so what happened was this little boy George, he went up the tree and he was sad because the tree they wanted to knock down the tree and then i read the end where yeah and so it turned the sadness into happiness and so him and the tree became best friends and they lived a forever life mm -hmm. girl knowing damn well i only read the first page the middle page and the last page girl i you you did more than i did i'll tell you that you know what because all i did was read the back where it re um reiterates the whole story and i just copied it in my own childish words See, we were meant for each other. Yep, and my dad was right there having my back. He's mm -hmm. all, did you get those pizza? Make sure you get them. Make sure you get them. And I'm like, yes, dad. So you know what? He ain't got to pay for his kids' pizza. Nope. He just paid for it. <laughs> so she said her dad. He got the whole Supreme while his kids, you know, we got our own little kid pizza, and we were all happy here. She said her dad was happy that he only had to pay for his little pizza. He didn't yep. have to pay for her or her sister's. So shout out to my dad for shout pushing out. me to be more. Um, shout out to your dad. Yep. Oh, this pineapples. This is pineapple chicken, but we also, if you've had this cut too, but they, the sauce they call it pineapple chicken. Mmm. 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 That crunch. Mmm. So yes, I believe that I had the best era, which was I was born in '83, so of course. I Honey, grew up in the you didn't 90s. Even know what the 80s were. So the 80s was the best, though. I mean, just the memories <laughs> of the Aquanet. My mom doing, you know, the feathering of her hair, doing so the Aquanet. The Aquanet. We were about yes. the Aquanet. <laughs> she swab. I'm Team Aquanet. <laughs> and Herbal Essence is me. Mm, and I still be using it today. <laughs> I miss all those old school places. You know, like being able to go shop at Mervyn's, just oh, yeah. Kmart. I love Kmart. Like. Just recently on um, TikTok, I noticed there's a page and it's like, it's just, it's a vibe. You can just go and see like the way it looked in tic and, uh, TikTok, the way it looked in Kmart, you know, like, like I remember, that yeah, that era, like my grandma would let, my Nana Clara would always go and let us get popcorn and icy and oh my, the nachos, you know, I miss those days. Like, let me tell you, Wally World is not the business. You know what's funny? It's like... My dad would always say Wally World, right? Uh -huh. And I thought that was just a nickname he made up for Walmart. Mm -hmm. And then, so like, you know, like I'd be asking dad, like, dad, where are we going? He's like, we're going to Wally World. And I knew what he meant. Mm -hmm. And then I come here and I see you and I'm like, what? You know Wally World too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, Wally World is AKA Walmart. Mm -hmm. A hot mess in there. Hot mess. It's I mean, a hot mess. Well, I mean, it is the holidays. Yeah, true. I like to I like to go in there once in a while, don't get me wrong. But recently I can say like more lately I order online cuz I just don't want to deal with all that. And then one thing about Walmart is they have like 50 registers and they have them all shut down and now they're forcing you to do the self, the self pay, yeah. the self checkout. It's like that's just no. Like it it's ridiculous. It's like especially when you see lines in China. Yeah, it's and it's ridiculous. They don't even open it up. Mm-hmm. 
and some people don't even know how to self check out but again like you said we're forced to do it yeah and it takes even longer exactly and then i feel rushed because you know there's all these people waiting and i'm over there trying to hurry up and like yeah i mean that's why i said i i feel like now i uh order online more but so you said as a child you always went to mervin's right mm-hmm did you, okay, so I... Well, no, 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 no. I went to Mervyn's more as a teenager. Oh, okay. As in my teenager, because as a child, I was less fortunate. So the way that I would get my, my clothes from school was because, um, you know, at school, they would have uh, vouchers. So we would, my Nana would get a voucher, and she would be able to take us to Kmart, and it would probably be like a $100 voucher per kid. And that's the way that we were able to get, like, new um, school clothes and, you know, a pair of shoes, like... Mm-hmm. That's why I say it, and I'll say this again, I was raised very humble, like, I was bullied for not having the best shoes and, and not having, you know, like, I didn't have the whole, you know, in school, it's like you have, like, a, a summer fit, like, summer clothes, like, you go shopping for the summer, brand new clothes, and then you have, like, the winter, you know, winter clothes. I wore the same shoes probably for, like, I don't know, two, three years until right. they sell off so you had no choice but to yes get new ones. and that's what i'm saying it, it, i didn't have that type of of life which made me more humble and realize you know the precious things of life so when i got older um when i became older i told myself i am going to make sure that i have all the latest shoes that i have the latest fashion but you know when you get older you kind of your mind frame changes and it's more of a it's not about the shoes it's not about the fashion it's about inside you being happy and that's all that matters because sometimes we get caught up in that materialistic stuff but that don't matter that does not matter so to me it's like i guess it has a lot to the way a lot to do with the way i was raised you know my grandmother it's also peer pressure so yeah and that's um, what the the social does up, you know it humbles you because you don't have that much right uh-uh. but when you have kids or friends or peers, you know, other people in your class, mm-hmm. who, you know, don't understand what it's like, what it's like to be less fortunate. Mm-hmm. You know, they tend to judge, and some of them don't even realize that they're doing that. You know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It it does make you feel some type of way. You know, you feel embarrassed sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know, me working with kids now. Um, not only did I live like that, not mm-hmm. having the latest shoes or whatever. I see that now for myself from a different perspective, mm-hmm. and it's sad. You know? It is sad. It is. And that's why, like, kindness just goes a long way. It does. Way. No matter what age you are, mm-hmm. kindness goes a long way. It goes a long ways mm-hmm. just to smile at someone. Mm-hmm. This is where I say, mm-hmm. reach out to your loved ones, to your friends. Life is short, you know? Depression doesn't have a face. So, um, you know, as we have lives, we've been getting on lives more. And a lot of people have been expressing, you know, usually around the time of the holidays, that seasonal depression comes on and it's like, you know, you're not alone and it's okay to be not okay. And you have an amazing support system. The Concha Crew, shout out to my mod, shout out to every one of you guys. I mean, it was amazing. We had such a great time baking. Um, but all right, enough of the, enough of the chitter chatter. One to 10, I'm giving this place a 20. Babe, what do you give it? I'm gonna have to agree. Mm-hmm. Twenty from and the Ariel. Reason why it's because, uh, like right now, I'm stuffed. I'm ready mm-hmm. to go into a food coma. <laughs> she ready to take a nap. I got a combination of like savory, sweet, mm. salty, it, and that's where they, you know, they say it's a combination from all these different Everything. cultures, mm-hmm. all into one. It's a yeah. fusion of all these different foods. So I agree. I'm gonna have to agree. 20 and I'm 20. not even playing. trying uh this trying a lot of this stuff for the first time you're not gonna know if you like it unless you try it so try it promise you it is delicious filled with flavor and again you guys i'm gonna go ahead and cut it out because a lot of people say oh you guys talk too much you know what and i have something for you if you think we talk too much you don't have to watch this channel there's a lot of other channels that talk for one minute you know, some that don't even talk, they probably are memes. Go to their channel. But I do support those that do support us. And I will go ahead and exit out this vlog. Thank you again for the love and the support. Thank you, thank you guys for always showing up. Yes. I mean, and Susan Lee. Never thank you fails. again.
Thank, Thank you, guys you so much. And we will see you guys on the next one. Bye.